Hi everyone, today we are going to explain tragic hero. That how a tragic hero should be in a tragedy. But we will not add something from our own side, but we are going to explain it in the light of Aristotle's teaching. Basically, Aristotle has written a book whose name is Poetics. And in this book he mentioned four qualities of a tragic hero. Well, let's move and explain it one by one, but if you are new in my channel, please like the video and subscribe the channel. The first quality he mentioned in this book is, the character must be morally good. It is the first quality Aristotle has mentioned in this book that a tragic hero must be morally good. It means that according to him, when a morally good character suffers a downfall, the audience feel sympathy for the character. Basically, he says that the tragedy purpose is to evoke pity and fear in the audience. So only through the downfall of a virtuous character, pity and fear can be aroused. In simple words, you can say, it means if a character is not morally good and he falls down, so the audience feel good for him and they do not have any sympathy for him so it is the first quality of tragic hero that he must be morally good the character should be appropriate to type what does it mean it is the second quality of a tragic hero according to aristotle that a tragic hero should be neither completely virtuous nor completely evil but rather a mix of both. In simple words, you can say that a tragic hero should be appropriate or suitable for the role he plays in a tragedy. So it is the second characteristics of or quality of a tragic hero that according to Aristotle, that a tragic hero must be appropriate. The third quality that he mentioned is the character must be true to life. What does it mean? Simply, it means that a tragic character must be realistic and believable. In simple words, you can say that a tragic character must be like real people. Basically, Aristotle believed that the purpose of tragedy is to imitate human life. So, a tragic hero must be like human being and he will experience the world as we experience the world. Though the character must be courageous, but his downfall will happen because of his tragic flaw. So this is the third quality according to Aristotle. The fourth quality of a tragic hero is the tragic hero should be consistent in his disposition. What does it mean? Simply it means that a tragic hero according to Aristotle should be well-defined character with a consistent dis uh, disposition or personality. I think you are not getting the point. Let me give you example. If a character who is known as honorable should not suddenly behave in a dishonorable manner. If he is honorable, so he should be consistent with his personality. It is consistency and disposition which makes a character believable and real. Well guys, if you have enjoyed this lecture, please do not forget like and subscription to my channel. And see you next time. Bye bye.